Natalia Crawford and I'm part of the I Am Beautiful campaign and today I'm here to encourage you and remind you about the challenge that we have going on this week. So we finally launched this campaign and we are currently on week one and we are talking about the beauty and the power in your eyes. So let's go ahead and remind ourselves what the challenge is for this week. So it, the challenge for this week said, Take inventory of everything you are choosing to surround yourself with and look at. Is it good for your soul and spirit? How is it affecting your thoughts and actions? Make the choice to remove the things that are having a negative impact on you and to only surround yourself with the things that are having a positive impact. So we are halfway through the week um, and approaching our next challenge, but before we get there, we want to make sure that you are fully grasping and understanding this challenge and applying it in your life. Um, each week we're going to add a new challenge and they're going to build on each other, which is why it's important that we first apply this challenge before we move on to the next one. So, um, you know, it's a very basic challenge. When I created this challenge, I just thought, okay, um, you know, what would be an easy way to implement it? And it's simply just by, you know, on a daily basis, taking inventory and just looking around and saying, okay, what am I placing in front of myself? Um, you know, am I continually putting the word of God in front of me? Am I putting positive things in front of me? Um, you know, and this includes what you're watching throughout your day. You know, it can be as simple as just creating a list and just saying, okay, I'm going to start with a list today and I'm just going to write down everything that I look at. So from the moment that you wake up um, to the moment that you go to sleep, just write down everything that you look at. And then at the end of the day, um, look at your list and see how many of these things are positive and how many of these things are negative. Which of them had a good impact on me and spoke the truth of God into my life? And which of these things, um, you know, are actually contradicting what the Word of God has to say? Um, and if possible, remove those things. You know, find a way to get rid of them because they're not going to be good for you. They're not going to have a positive impact on your life. So we want to make sure that what you're placing in front of you is good, that it's from God, that it lines up with his word, and that it is speaking truth to your spirit and to your soul. Um, because if it isn't, then it's, it's, you know, it's going to contradict and it's going to fight against the good things that you're putting in front of yourself. Um, so for example, one of the things that I have started doing, which is really helpful is that with TCG we launched these um, scripture cards here and um, this is something that actually I'd had on my heart for a really long time um, you know because I was writing down the Word of God you know on mirrors with markers and on post-its and taking it with me and on note cards and you know there were a couple of, of problems with that is Either I would lose the post-it or it would get wrinkled or it wasn't very cute or it would get lost in my purse or something. Um, and I really thought, man, I wish there was a way that I could just, you know, have the word of God in front of me, um, you know, because his word tells us to meditate on it day and night and throughout our day. And how, you know, I thought, how can we do that when we're so, so busy, um, you know, I have to get ready in the morning, I have to leave, I have to go to work, I have to do all these things. And um, after a while, this idea came to me, which I'm positive is from the Lord, um, you know, to just have these cards. So we created these scripture cards um, that we can, you know, they're small enough that you can take with you wherever you go. Um, we chose 10 different scriptures that just apply to following God on a daily basis. Um, and then on the opposite side of them, they actually have a print so that you can put them in frames and place them around your house, which is something I've actually done. So I put one in a frame um, that is in our restroom. It's actually like on the sink. So every time I'm getting ready, I look at this scripture and it says, love your neighbor. And it has been a blessing to have it. Um, it has also been um, how do I say it? I've been convicted because as I'm getting ready, putting makeup on, or I might be in the bedroom with my husband. And if I have this negative thought come to me about somebody, I see that scripture and it's like, 
not going to say that, not going to think that. I'm only going to think positive things. Um, and it's because I'm choosing to place the word of God in front of me as I'm getting ready. I also have placed it in other places. I have one here on my desk. Um, it says, my daughter, give me your heart and let your eyes delight in my ways. So every time I sit down at my desk, I can look at the scripture and, um, you know, and just remind myself, okay, my heart belongs to God and I need to remember that and focus on that and delight in his ways and the plans that he has for me um, and my life. And then the other place I, I have one is right next to my bed. Um, and it says, blessed is she who has believed that the Lord would fulfill his promises to her. So every time uh, I go to bed or every time I wake up, that's the first thing I see and it's the last thing I see. And it's just a reminder that I need to hold on to the promises of God. Um, so that's just an example of a good way to keep the word of God in front of you. You know, find ways to do it. Keep positive things in front of you. Um and just, you know, like with these cards, I'm, I just take them with me everywhere and I can pull them out during my lunch break or if I'm waiting in line at the grocery store, um, you know, and just, just everything, you know, constantly put positive things in front of you, put the word of God in front of you. That's the best thing that you can do um, because it's going to penetrate your soul. It's going to penetrate your spirit. And when it gets in there, um, that's what's going to come out. It's going to give you a true reflection of who you are so that when you look in the mirror, you're seeing who God says you are. So I just want to encourage you to take this challenge and run with it. Make your list, um, you know, look at the good things that you have in your life, remove the bad things and surround yourself with the word of God because that is the absolute best thing to do. Um, and, you know, let us know how it's going. Leave a comment. We would love to hear from you. We want to know how you're doing with this because the whole point of it is, um, for it to have an impact on you, for it to really change your life and transform, you know, transform your identity so that it is really grounded in the word of God, because you are not meant to be a victim. You are not meant to be, um, insecure. You are beautiful. You are created in the image of God. And that is the truth. Um, and so we just want that truth to really sink in. So I hope that this challenge is really working and that you're applying it and seeing a difference um, so that you can be and live out the life that God has for you as a daughter of God. So let us know how it's going. And this coming Sunday, we have another challenge for you. So get ready as we just take these two months um, to just continue in this campaign and get really grounded in the word of God. Um, so that's how I've been applying it. Share how you've been applying it. Um, and, you know, we can share ideas with each other on what we've been doing so that other girls can take these examples and apply them in their life as well. So thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to hear from you. And we will also have something ready for you this Sunday. So get ready and buy other girls to join. We're just getting started. There's good things ahead. All right. We love you and we are very excited for this and we will see you soon. Bye.